Matt Manley here with Jaden Holmes Cotter in the halls of Christian Brothers Academy where it's very hard to win here, but you guys just did that 71-70 double overtime for Hill Township with the win over CBA. And Jaden, um, what was that locker room like after a win like that where you guys are down nine and with about 10 minutes to go, down by three a couple times in the last minute of regulation and overtime, and somehow you guys are walking out of here with a win? Um, you know, in the locker room, you know, after the game, it was a full better game. You know, as you said, it's really hard to win here, but, um, you know, every quarter we just stayed, we just stayed with it. You know, we just believed in each other, trusted each other, and, you know, we just followed the game plan the coaches gave us, and it all came together. Yeah. It took a couple buzzer beaters for you to force overtime. The first one was that layup underneath. Just walk me through that play. To, to where, you know, it looked like Cardone just found a little crease and you got the ball there. Yeah, I mean, Cardone, two sport athlete, QB1, you know, he hit me right in the stomach, got the ball, just laid it up, you know. Really, really great for that teammate like that, you know, just seeing me, you know, great for that team, the ball, you know, we work well together. Yeah, and you almost had two, uh, that, he had that three that was, uh, that didn't count because coach called timeout and just kind of walk me through that sequence where it looked like, you know, you guys had an opportunity to take the lead there, if not for a whistle and you have to draw something up to come up with something, and I know Coach said he used you as a decoy. Just what did you think about that call and, and how Malachi executed it? Um, you know, I was perfectly fine with it. You know, I trust every single one of these guys on the team, 1 through 12. And, you know, if, if they need to make a big, a big play, I know that they will, and I just have the most, utmost confidence in every single one of these guys. One thing about Friel Township is you guys always play hard to the last whistle, always play fast, but it's, it's a little different to have to play with that kind of composure and come up with a score when you need to. How do you guys think you have developed into a team that plays cool under that pressure where you can do that in a game like this? Um, I think we just, uh, with the three seniors, you know, we've just tried to instill in the younger guys, um, you know, just composure, just being confident, just believing in yourself, and just, you know, slowing the game down. Um, you know, as you said, we do play very fast, but, you know, we just try to slow the game down. They simplified it down for us, and it, it, we just came out to win. And what does winning at CBA mean? It's it's a shorter division schedule this year. There's yeah. only eight division games to try to win so a division, I mean, and this is a big one. So I mean, as they said after the Christmas tournament, they said, you know, it was going to be a grind every single game, you know. How it was a grind, and then this game right here is a grind. So, you know, A North, you know, we can't take any days off, especially with the schedule, especially with the schedule being short and, you know, our, our division being uh, less, less than two teams. You know, we have two teams left. Um, every game matters, and every game counts, especially the division. We want to win A North. Jade Holmes Cotter, thanks for the time. 24 points, 18 boards unofficially, and the win over CBA in double overtime. Thanks, Jaden. Thank you.